Body Rockers. Week three. Day three. Day three. Day three. We just did day one yesterday. Yeah, but we don't necessarily shoot it in order. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're on day three of week three. I know you guys are still with us. We are doing cardio today. Cardio, cardio. So a lot of people don't like cardio. They don't? What? No. Oh. A lot of people hate it. Okay. So what like do you... you? Well, no, I used <laughs> to hate it. I actually really used to hate it. Really? I was only a weights guy. Okay. And... That's I got wrong. into I got into cardio, and then I found that it helped my mind a little bit more. Um, I was starting to get a little bit more of that uh, that happy rush, you know. So I, it started. What about the slumber? Oh no. Really? No. Oh my gosh, I find that's the biggest thing. No, but uh, that's what hooked me on it, and now I do cardio almost every day, pretty much, even just for thirty minutes, even if it's just for a walk. Um, even if it's just like riding the bike to like loosen up your legs if you had a tough leg day. Um, just something or body weight or what we're going to do here today. Um, with cardio, you can really hit it hard if you want and you have those expectations of yourself to be able to match that every day. Your cardio is going to be um, somewhat like your weights. You might have a really hot day where you're just burning it out, you're repping it out hard and then your energy when you get to cardio might be a little bit down. Um, usually after a heavy leg day, the very next day is a really tough workout for myself just because you've stripped those bigger muscles and they're trying to repair. repair. So um, cardio is really great to uh, obviously to flush your system, uh, your heart, your lungs. Uh, we don't think about that, uh, the inside, right? You're, you're helping your insides right now when you're doing cardio. It's, and it's also going to help you burn a little bit of fat. So if you've got a little bit of fat that you want to you know, burn off that stomach, it's gonna help you shed that little bit of fat um, if you wanna have your abs pop through. True story. That's enough, uh, that's enough. Your lips to your ears, true yeah. story. Anyways. So All right, so that's yes. a good point though. Like, you know, if you guys are truly beginners and you've been doing this program with us and it's week three and you're like, I just can't do the cardio day, then we'll give you homework. Go for a walk, like do what you can do and then come back to this when you feel like you've kind of recovered. But again, it's that fine line between challenging yourself and then walking away too early. So you guys have to figure that out. We can't figure that out for you. You have to figure it out. Um, but if you feel like you can do it, do it at tempo, I feel like is everything when it comes to cardio. Right. So when we say tempo, go at your own tempo. We've said it, but we haven't explained it. It means like your own rhythm, your own pace. So like if we're going two times, you guys go one time, okay? anyone in dance out there, if we're doing like eight step, you're doing four step. Do you ever go for a run? Or maybe maybe you haven't in a while. Maybe, you have, maybe you're a runner and the very first three or four minutes is like hell. It's yes. because you don't have your breath, you don't have your pace, you don't have your tempo, you don't have, you know, you're not really locked in. Once you get that over that first hurdle, you know, four or five minutes in, your second wave or your second wind starts to pick up. And then you really start to feel like, you know, hey, it can be the same here. Get through that first round, get your body warmed up. We're going to do the warm up anyways. But what I'm saying is, is that you can have that tempo to where you can really go, you know, balls to the wall or, you know, you can slow it down a little bit. So let's, yeah. let's, let's get started. Yeah, you guys figure that out for yourselves. We're going to get started. Week three, day three, cardio session, 30 minute movements for warm up as usual, but we've changed the movement. So refresh for cardio day. And then we're gonna move into the movements for the cardio, the actual workout. Now, update, we've changed the timing. So we feel like you guys have progressed in the last two weeks. We used to do 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So that was a 20 second rest time. We're taking away five seconds. Okay, so we're adding it to the workout. So 35 seconds of work and then 15 seconds rest. But like Sean and I have talked about, you guys do what you need for rest time. Find your rhythm, work it out. Just shut your brain off, do the work, show up, and then everything will fall into place. I swear, here we go. 30 seconds, warm up, timer ready. Gonna start with basic jumping jacks. Okay, so. This is what I see all the time. Not from kids, but from adults. Not a jumping jack. 
do it with intention. Bring the hands up to the top. I was doing your adult version. <laughs> it's the mobility in the shoulders, right? right? To get right up to the top. But it's a good chance to warm up for what we're going to do. All right, next. Standing, so standing with hands behind the head. Prisoner, oblique, and then reach over. I've changed the order of time. Okay, 45 degree angle with the feet. We're coming up for a crunch. Then we're reaching over, opening up that side. Three seconds. Woo. I like Last that. One. I like that for an exercise. Yeah. It really gets it. Eh? It does. It's yeah. totally does. All right, prisoner, good morning. So remember that prisoner grip. And I wonder why they call it that. Hands behind the head. We're going to hinge. Good morning. I don't think we've done these. Actually, have we done these in a strength workout yet? But yeah, this is we did. A good morning. So remember, keep that spine stacked. You're tipping at the hip. Everything's tipping together. Last one. Moving into skiers, so we're getting that heart rate up a bit. So we're just jumping, right? <laughs> the slopes. Tempo. The slopes. Woo! I gotta look good down the slopes. We're in the house, baby. I'm going parallel. <laughs> Double Do you ski or snowboard? <laughs> uh, ski. Ski. I I tried snowboarding. I couldn't. Oh, I tried snowboarding a really long time ago, and I went basically down the hill on my butt. And I used it as a toboggan because I was, I was, I was, uh, I was over it. <laughs> I can picture that. You're just sitting, sitting on the binding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do circles, hip circles. So tip left. Ooh. See, we go fast and slow it down. Three seconds. Last one. We're going to come down to the floor. I'm going to do some hugs with those knees. So lying back, head back. I'm going to straighten out that leg. Hug, so you'll feel a stretch in that hip flexor there. And then you want to feel a stretch in the back line of that leg that you're hugging. Try and keep your leg neutral. So you want to try and avoid it turning out or turning in. That is a sign of those pelvic tilts I told you about on Monday of this week. All right, staying down, we're going to move into windshield wipers. So like this. So we're at that 45 degree angle with each leg. This is a good oh, hip go. opener. This feel good. Or terrible. Well, if I was a line, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you were a line. I'm like, yeah, if I was a line properly. You'll find out quick if you're one. <laughs> I'm definitely not. <laughs> I'm like one side this way. All right. <laughs> All right, abs. We're flipping over. Cobra. So pushing through the palms, bringing those hips off the ground, and moving that tailbone back. So keeping it dynamic. Remember we talked about dynamic stretching or movement before a workout, and then static, which means hold after a workout. Cobra. Pushing back. All right, we're going straight into it. So starting with frog jumps. They look like this, or two-footed hops. Two feet forward, two feet back. So we're into the workout here, guys. Oh, we're in the workout. We're in it. We're in it. Two feet forward, two feet back. Use those arms to help you with momentum. This is a serious quad burner. We're doing three laps today. So we're running through the entire workout. Once, twice, three. So that's round one, workout one of the workout. All right, that's so when you're jumping forward, when you come forward, bring your hands forward. It'll help you stabilize. And then when you're coming back, all right, so you don't fall down, we want you to come here. You're going to jump forward, but you're also going to use your hands when you come back. It's going to keep you from toppling over. Now we're moving into beast jumps, or beast reaches. So you're coming right back up on your toes, coming up almost into a plank, and then bringing that knee to that same side elbow. Up on the toes. Woo. 
Keep that knee up. Four seconds. Try and get in one more. Back. And up. Nice. All right, we're gonna do an inchworm. So standing up nice and tall. An inchworm. An inchworm. We're gonna walk out to a plank. You guys, this is just a demo, and then back. Now your timing started. <gasps> Standing up, walking out, nice and controlled. Bringing that butt down to neutral, put those hips down to neutral. Walking it back, using glutes to pull up. Walk out. So really watch so you're not lifting that butt. I feel like it's going to be a good sweat sesh. Three exercises in. That's it for that. All right, now lateral shoot throughs. We're doing some rotational work with the hips. So starting down, and we're going to shoot through. So I'm going to go slow for the first one so you guys can see exactly how it's done. Starting in a crouch position, opening up that left hand, bracing myself on the right hand. Letting that leg kick through. Depending on your mobility, we, be, we might be making this look really easy. So a lot of people find this movement hard. Just take your time with it. Go as slow as you need to. It's a really effective one, engaging those obliques. So are you sitting right down or what are you doing here? I'm not Sit. sitting right down. You can tap down. I like a little bit of a challenge, so I stay up. All right, that's it for shoot throughs. Halfway through the first lap. Frog squats. Coming down into that deep squat. You have three seconds rest still. So take it if you need it. Nice deep squat. Shooting those hips up. Pushing out with the elbows on the inside of the knee. This is great for the hamstrings really opens them up. So this is cardio day. If you guys are feeling like I'm not even winded yet, this is cardio day, pick up the tempo. If you're feeling like, oh my gosh, this is only halfway through the first lap, there's no way I'm gonna make it, slow it down slightly. All right, we're going into wide mountain climbers next. You still have 10 seconds rest. They look like this, I'll demo. Coming out into a plank, Instead of a mountain climber where you drive that knee up to the chest, we're going to come wide with it. Now it's super tempting to go fast with this one, but you'll find that this one really gasses you. Gasses me anyway. Yeah, just because you got to bring that knee up above. The heart, right? Yeah. All right, 15 seconds left. See what I mean? Woo! Have those hands right up underneath you too. It'll make it a little bit easier. If they're right up underneath your shoulders, you're gonna feel it right through the core. Last two, one, two, nice. So, we're gonna go to the Christmas tree. I'm gonna grab a little bell. I'm gonna grab the 10 pound. You're gonna need it for an ab curl. So full extension, lying down, then curling up. So grab the appropriate weight or like I've said before, try that first set with nothing. So that would look like this. Lazy. Now you may need to wedge your feet under like a doorway or a couch or something. Totally feel free to do that. Try some heavy weights. Just kind of put them under and then you can go back. Woo! Out of the weight. can't come all the way up, feel free to just stay here and do a little crunch. Just remember, gaze up to the ceiling. Don't round that top of the neck. Crush and twist. Crush and twist. Yeah, baby. Staying here. Plant those heels on the ground. Do you put heels up or down? Depends. Depends. So you want to sit right back so you're feeling it through your abs. If you're up too upright like this, it will hit your abs. It's just, you gotta play with where you feel it working. It's true. Some people might feel it 
sit it, sitting back in a different position. Keep it up. Just try to, there, guys. try to keep your hips really still and use your core to come back and forth. All right. Last one. How are we doing? That's good. That's good. All right. Only last one. So if you guys need to pause, this is the place right here. Pause. Not for too long. Remember that fine line of challenging yourself. Back to the frog jumps. Two feet forward. That we're silent. I know. <sighs> that means it's hard. <laughs> what is that hold? My, my legs are burning. <laughs> like, we know. I do. <sighs> Try to be nice and soft on the landing. <sighs> Control it. Going down to that piece reach. Here we go. Up on the toes. You guys take your rest. Five seconds, I'll demo. So on all fours. Up high on toes, sitting back in it. Nice primal movement. Bring that knee up. Now you wanna make sure, there you go guys, here's the ding. You guys should be working with us now. Keep that knee up. Make sure that you're coming back. So your hands should be slightly forward. If you feel like your crouch just is too narrow, just walk your feet back a bit. Some glue work, quads for sure. All right, inchworm. So starting from standing, we're gonna plank out. Should we add a push up? Yeah, if you want. Let's add a push up. Here you go, challenge. Walking out, push up here. No pressure, you don't have to. Back it up. Don't just stand up. So if you can't do the push-up, like Jesse's doing it, come right down, all right? Come right down onto those knees, right up, all right? Get yourself back up, then walk yourself up. If you can't do that, if you're still trying to get off your knees, walk yourself off of your knees, then come up, all right? Now you'll notice when Sean did that, his butt and his hips were still down. He wasn't sticking his butt way up in the air. He's still nice and flat. Just like a push-up, put on your knees. Just look for that. What are you doing now? Wide mountain climbers. No. We're doing shoot-throughs. Come down. Woo! So down in that bear stance kind of crouch position, bringing the hip down. Remember that breathing. Sometimes when you feel that burn, you know, and you feel like, ah, oh, I'm cramping up. Lactic acid build up. So your muscles do need oxygen. Don't forget to breathe. All right, next one, frog squat. So slow it down a little bit if you need to. Coming down, elbows on the inside of those knees. Woo, tailbone up. So you'll notice we are in week three. You know that you guys are capable of more by now. We still have added these kind of effective, a little bit on the strength side movements, just to be able to catch your breath. We're working for you, We're working with you. Woo. Last one. Yes. All right, mountain climbers, and that's why you needed the break, right? So we're coming back down into a plank. We're gonna come out to the right side, nice and wide, 45 degrees with the feet. So I'm gonna regress it a little, all right? So if you can't do that right now, I want you on your knees. You're just gonna bring it up and to the other side, all right? That's only if you're really gassed right now, okay? So you're just coming down and you're up, you're still moving your bottom half, all right? Core can be engaged. You can really feel this still through the core 
It's not as much, obviously, on the legs, but it is still sitting your core. Good. Back to abs. Go again, slowly down a bit. Crunch if you need to. You don't have to go all the way up, but if you're going to, and you're just starting out, tap those feet under a couch or something. Way up overhead. Woo. I'll do the regression. So lace those hands in line. Oh. I, I already had it covered. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> I can't see you. No, that's so funny. <laughs> All right, I'm going up then. All right, I was taking the break. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have no weight here. I'm, I'm actually just sliding my hands up my thighs, all right, or up my quads, right to the top. If I can't get to the top, all right, then you're just going to come straight back down, right back up, slide. All right, really slide up. Get as high as you can. Tuck that chin in and squeeze. Twist. When you're ready, twist. Find that comfy spot. All right, I'm gonna show you real quick. If you wanna make this easier or if you wanna make this harder. All right, easier would be obviously drop the weight. Come down side to side with your hands. All right, legs on the ground or legs off the ground. All right, if you're gonna make this harder with weight, legs off the ground, just make sure that your hips are staying as still as possible. They're gonna to wanna to shift a little bit. Yeah. Good point. So when he adds the weight and lifts his feet off the ground, he's gonna slow down his tempo, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because he's working that core just to keep his legs up. Yeah. So that's all part of it. Back to the top. Frog jumps. Let's go all stars. Woo. Round three. So, you guys are in the third lap. And you're just like, I'm done. I know they told me to stick it, but I can't. Just walk. Walk forward, walk backward. Walk forward, walk backward. Just do something, even if we don't give you our regression, which means something a little bit easier than what we're doing. You guys know what to do. Do a similar movement. Dumb it down a little. Keep moving. Down. Beast reach. I'm saying beast reach. Sounds like other things. Breast reach. Breast reach. I heard yeast. <laughs> like the yeast? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Down on toes. Coming all the way back. Remember that far out reach with the hands. <sighs> Get that knee up. Again, you want to make this easier. Put your knees on the floor. All right, when you're coming back, come up, touch the knee to elbow, come right back down, coming right back up. So your knees are hitting the floor as where Jesse's are not. All right, inchworm. Last time. Some people find this one really difficult. Some people find it really easy. It depends on that transverse abdominal, which you can't see. So sometimes there's no indication. You just know it when you see it. So if you come out here, a lot of people, their hips are wobbling. That's okay. It's all part of the journey. We didn't do a push-up. Push-up. Woo! You know what I forgot to do? What? I'm wearing vests. Yeah. We're not ready for grass, people. I personally love the vest for that exact reason. Like, you train with it, and then all of a sudden training without it, or if you're a runner or something. Makes a big difference. It's like nothing. Yeah, it's like crazy. doing a push up without the vest compared to with it. It's like anything. You add a plate, you add a pink thing, changes the ball game. Shoot through his last time. Here we go. Bring that hip down. So if you can't do that, all right, and it's you, you're dying right now, right? This is only if you're dying. I just want you to switch and come over. You're just going to switch and come over, all right? So you're just going to turn over just like that. If you can't switch through, 
we're gonna come right here and you're gonna still have that palm right up by your by your face you're gonna turn it on you still feel it through the core you're gonna stay low in the frog squat squats halfway last lap come on down push those knees out get nice and low move around in this position bring that tailbone up so what are we doing with the head here? Are we looking right to the floor every time we come up? I look right to the floor, yep. Every time. Are your knees locked out? Are they not? Are they bent when you're coming uh, up? You don't have to go to lockout, but you can if you can easily come out of the lockout. Depends on your mobility. To lockout, you have to have a pretty flexible back line. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried it. I was yeah. like, no, I'm not having it. <laughs> Sean won't be continuing this workout. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we're going to go into wide mountain climbers. So remember what we said. What was your regression here? Knees on the floor. Knees on the floor. So I'm going to do the real thing. Sean, you can show them the regression if you want. You can always walk it out too. If you want to work on that mobility game, take little bits of what we're doing. Over time, you're going to find your deficits. You're going to know what you need to work on, whether it's mobility, Cardio, you're gonna get your indicators. And if you find that, you know what, they do that move and I just can't reach down that far, that wide, whatever, then this is your chance. Slow it down, turn it into a mobility game. Or, speed it up. Woo! All right, ending, ab curls left with the weight, four crunches, and then those twists. Grab your weights. Planting those feet. Wait. Come on up. Now, of course, if you're between where Sean is and where I am, then just have no weight. So just come up. See, sometimes I find that harder if my feet aren't tucked because there's not, not enough weight pulling me forward. But you can just come up. And also, you can take off the vest at this point if you find it easier Whew, to lie back. All right, so how do you guys? We're on the last set of week three, day three. So just stick it, you've come this far, brush and twist, three seconds, here we go. Lifting those feet. Remember your options. Pick your tempo. Uh, also, your dominant hand will play an effect on where you're hitting it in your abs. So if you switch hands, right hand's dominant right now. I'm feeling it a little bit more of a pull on the right side. If I switch to the left, I feel it through the left side a little bit more. Burn, baby burn. Yeah? Yeah, that was good. That was awesome. Good work, guys. Whew. All right, so that's cardio day. That's what a week three cardio day looks like. Now, there's only one cardio this week. So we give you guys homework. Go for a walk. Get the vitamin, vitamin D. Yeah, especially like, now, especially now. So if you live in Canada or anywhere. North. North, you need to go out for like at least half an hour Nice long walk, this is your chance. Two birds, one stone, you'll get your cardio in, your additional cardio, and you'll also get that vitamin D. Now you need to do that, try and do that every day. If you have a dog, go where you, there's sunshine. Try not to hide under the trees. Vitamin D is so important in so many ways. So I, I wanna talk to you about something about cardio for a second here. Um, like so, you. oh yeah? I like here for the story. <laughs> Oh, no, it's just like, so there's cardio, you're walking the dog. If your heart rate is falling under, you know, 90 beats per minute, um, I mean, yes, you are exercising. Yes, you are burning calories and all of those great things. But when you're doing a cardio, I need you to, I need you to sweat a little bit, all right? So that doesn't mean, you know, we're walking Betsy Ann 
you know, she goes out and does her business. We're picking it up, you know, we're throwing it in the trash can. We're done. We're going to walk around. We're going to stop at the corner store. But that's not what we mean. We mean get your heart rate up, get your heart tracker on, get out there, get your heart rate up a little bit, 90 beats plus per minute, all right? And make sure that you're sweating when you're done. Make, make sure that you feel like you've exerted yourself, even if it's just a little bit, all right? What I was talking about before is our active rest day, and I don't think we've touched on that yet. And an active rest day is just that. It's you get to take your dog to the park and you know, you get to play with it, run around with it a little bit, you know, throw the ball, that sort of thing, and you're kind of just standing there enjoying the day. That is more of an active rest day, and we haven't touched on that. We'll touch on that in the, when we get a little bit further along um, because we're Monday to Friday, and we don't want you guys um, staying stationary for two straight days, right? We just talked about it previously about, you know, after 48 hours we go a little bit, and, you know, bonkers if we don't, you know, get some activity. It's the same with you guys. We want you guys having an active rest day, which means go for a walk. Uh, if you like to golf, if you like to, you know, play a game of tennis, if you want to go skating, if you want to just do something fun, right? Something that you're going to take the family out and, and just enjoy. And then you're going to have your rest day, which is your rest day, which you get to sit on the couch. You get to enjoy that. You get to stay home. You get to just chill out and you don't have to think about you know, working out or dumbbells or anything of that nature. And that will give you your reboost or your reboot to the following week. So that 30% that I was talking about, that is the 30% that you really want to take a lot of time with, but also enjoy because it gives you a little bit of downtime, but you're still active. Yeah. And I will say that like, even if you, you know, you consider it a rest day, you may find that like, what you're doing you love and you have this new energy where you're kind of like you know what like the rest day doesn't mean what it used to mean right. to me like I'm, i want to go play, play capture the flag with my kids because i have this little bit of extra energy and then you find yourself sweating or at least i do in like <laughs> yeah. you know games or things that you used to not really you know sometimes the body like has little hidden secrets where you kind of have these little aches and pains and they become the new normal and you didn't even realize that they're the new normal. And it's not that you don't want to go play, it's that you have these kind of things that are- like, That are there. <laughs> that are there that, that like are kind of hiding and they've been there for so long and that's what's actually preventing you from going out. And now that you're mobilizing yourself and you're having extra energy, you might find that Actually, that's not as difficult as it was before, and rest day doesn't mean the same thing as it used to. You're so, going to go through peaks and valleys yeah. with it. Like, you're going to, sometimes you're going to skip your rest day, you're going to work out, you're going to feel like a million bucks, and then there's going to be other weeks that you really want that rest day. And it, it just goes back and forth. So, uh, just to be honest with you, just, just be self aware. Be self aware of how you're feeling, check in with yourself, your emotions, you know, check in how you've been eating for the week. Just just check in with just, yourself and, and just journal. Yeah. Are, we, are we selling that journal or our nutritionist? Yeah. Like that's an amazing tool, I feel like. Yeah, we, we, we have a, a journal that we can we can talk about and uh, you know it's 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 personal. So Or um, you guys can journal on your own, like as you're going through this journey, you know, you'll gonna find patterns. Oh, I ate this this day. And then I worked out or I did a cardio session or you'll, and then you'll start to see the patterns looking back in your journal about what gave you that boost. So use some type of, I encourage you anyway, to use some type of resource like that where you can look back and get to know yourself better because that's actually one of, I, probably the biggest benefit when I get sick now or when I have an injury, I know right away and I can feel and you know your body so well, you become like a professional at knowing your body and you can guide your healthcare practitioners into like what you're feeling because you're just going to be so much more in touch with it. Agreed. Um, so a lot of people are going to be starting this that may not have the encouragement at home, right? Because this is, you know, this is really targeted for beginners, people who are sort of like getting back into it that might be surrounded by people who might make fun of them a little bit or might resist a little bit, might feel judged a little bit because they're making changes in their life and they might feel kind of alone in this journey. Do you guys have any advice for people like that? Um, just what I've always said is really just uh, 
get into the insider group. Um, everyone's there that is really helpful, supportive. Um, you won't find any negativity. Um, you know, it, it is it is hard for an individual in a household if you know the kids and you know the partner aren't. You know, I don't want to say <laughs> like they're not 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 up to snuff on it, but like they're not supportive and. You know, they want to eat like the pizza and the French fries and the burgers every night. And it really can pull you away from your goals because we use food as a social tool. And whether it's with your family or friends, whoever, um, that's what we do. We eat, we get together, uh, we go to restaurants and that sort of thing. So what I can say is get into the insider group. Um, if you have a friend um, outside the household, male or female that, you know, that is in, you know, working out, staying active, looking for a healthier lifestyle, lean on them a little bit, confide in them, you know, tell them your struggles. And you can tell us your struggles as well in the insider group because... Where do they find that? On Facebook. Facebook, Body Rock Insiders, you got to be obviously a member uh, to, 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 to be in the group, but um, it's, it's a really awesome supportive group. Um, once you get in there, you'll you'll see what I mean. And uh, a lot of those women in there were, you know, timid to post at the beginning, and they wouldn't post pictures, and they wouldn't post themselves working out because they had those insecurities. And we all have our insecurities. I have my insecurities. Probably Jesse has her insecurities. You know, everybody. We both hate the camera. Everyone has their insecurities, um, and uh, you have nothing to be insecure about. As long as you're you're in there, you're trying, you're trying to make yourself better. If there's a form question or if you think you're doing something wrong, just send us a message. Customer service, myself, Jesse, Tammy, anybody um, will help. So um, we're here to support. We're here to you know encourage you and uh, try to making your your lifestyle a better place. Yeah, definitely. Where where you do have a community always. Um, we're here to respond to your questions, needs. We can send private messages. So, yeah. like, don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid of your form. Like, if you want to post and you're feeling proud of yourself, like, do so. Like, somebody else out there is not doing it perfectly either. We know most people are beginners. Think about that for a second. Most people are beginners. So, like, there's nothing that, you know, you're going to say or do or a stupid question that somebody else hasn't asked. It's a journey. We all started from somewhere, and you're welcome to do the same thing, and there's no judgment. And if you don't, I was going to say, if you don't have, you know, a lot of the time you live in a family, or, like, maybe you don't have a lot of family or friends. Like, things are freaking weird right now. So, like, if you don't have a community um, that even one person to call and you're starting this journey on your own, I think reflection is really important because reflection allows you to look back at what you've done, whether it's the day before or the week before or the year before, and see the changes for yourself in yourself. So you can be that, you can grow that motivation within yourself if you don't have that person to turn to. But inevitably, the world is going to change. There's the insider group, you're joining us now, you're listening to us you will build the community. But if you're starting off truly alone, I really encourage you to somehow take time, half an hour, 15 minutes, journal, reflect on the changes you've made so that you can, sometimes we're in this you know, rat race where you're looking at us, you're looking at somebody that you kind of idolize and you're like, oh, I'm only here, but I wanna be here. Well, if you reflect and look back, well, yesterday you weren't where you are right now. So. There's always, you're, you're working towards something better. Every, better is just kind of like objective, like whatever that is to you, it's not the same for most people. So whatever that is to you, you know the goal that you wanna to work towards, but you need to take the time to give yourself the credit for the work that you've done, whether someone's there or not. Agreed. Nice work. Cardio day, woo! Bye guys. <laughs>